welcome back guys things are moving along in our little town now I've been doing a little bit of flattening work and I say a little I've done some fairly extensive flattening up here now I've still got to extend it in this direction but I've flattened all of this area up here because this is all gonna be part of like the main town eventually probably the town like the town hall is probably gonna end up being like over here probably going to be the big colonial hall with all posh houses and everything around it but um yeah um, I, what i wanted to do was kind of extend this so that we could start using this um this shoreline a little bit and we're going to start uh, we're going to start increasing the shoreline a little so what i'm going to do i'm going to put in up here uh let's see what am i going to put in i'm going to go to uh, let's see, resource production and shore house. And we're going to put in, um, for now, you know what? I think we could probably just get away with, oh, well, we can fit one in there, you know. You know what? Let's, let's just pop him in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a shore house here. And this guy is going to be producing reeds. Because with reeds and feathers, and we're getting lots of feathers from the, uh, the duck hunting that's going on in the forests. Um, we can start making another type of clothing because right now we we're very low on clothing now this tailor over here even though he's getting supplied by two hunters he's not getting enough leather to make uh, uh, hide coats but what he could make if we get reeds then he could make survival coats oh yeah right so um, so that's what we're gonna oh We've got our market. Let's have a look at the market. Look at this. I do like. I do like the whole the, the stripy awnings and look at all the food laid out. Oh, they got look look they got bread. They got baguettes. Look at how posh is this place. And they got like I, I think that those are sausages and all kinds of stuff going on. Oh, loving it. Look, what's going on around here? Is this the is this the fish? Oh, this is the fishmongers. Look, I've got all the fish laid out. What the hell is this thing? Is that... Jesus, that, that, that is a big fish there. They couldn't have caught that locally. Well, I don't know. It could be a big pike or something like that. Okay, so um, so yeah, so we've got the, uh, the market going on. Now, um, we've only got one in each. Because remember I put in, I allocated two vendors. So... The, the other one's uh, got up to five people, which is this one over here. This one is up to six. Um, I think we'll just bang it up to like, you know what, we'll drop this down to five as well. We'll drop it down to four. Uh, we'll, we'll crank it up to four people. So there'll be two vendors in each. And that should hopefully kind of speed up the distribution of stuff. Yeah, like generically stuff. Cool. Right, let's have a look. How are we doing? Bricks. Are we keeping up with all the brickwork that we're uh, we're throwing down? Right, we're currently at zero on, on bricks, which is kind of what I'd expect because I put in a whole load of brick roads. So that's good. Um, I'm happy with that. Now, what about feathers? Do we have a lot of feathers? I, uh, oh, we're starting to get reeds now. Look, 72 reeds. Ho, 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 ho. Where's feathers? Uh, I can't. Oh, here's feathers. We've got 256 feathers. So, I think what we're going to be able to do is kind of switch maybe backwards and forwards between producing uh, hide coats and producing survival coats. So, I'm going to switch to survival coats for a bit and, um, and see how we get on with that. Cool. How's this barn? Is this particularly full? No, it's only 10% full. Beeswax. We really need to put in a chandler, don't we? Yeah, we do. Now, I put in the apothecary over here. So I think we need to put in the Chandler around here somewhere. Uh, you know, I'm, th I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we should put the Chandler in kind of like just behind these guys. Would kind of be nice. That would kind of work for me. So how about let's take a dirt road and run a dirt road. We'll run it. Uh, now that's too wide. Shall we? Hey, let's continue that thing. Let's run that too wide through there. Like that. Right, and I left a too wide gap for the uh, for the apothecary. So, uh, Chandler. Where the hell would Chandler be? Um, should be in refined resources, shouldn't it? A Chandler? Uh, 
crafting, I would have thought. And there it is, chandlery. So, now, do I leave a, a little bit of a gap? Ooh, ooh, you can put him like right up close to the road. Ooh, no, I think we'll, I think we'll space him back a little bit. So, I will leave a gap between the apothecary and the chandlery. So let's have the chandlery going on there. Well, just have, we just have one for now. I think that's probably enough. Good, good, good. Right, um, we're a bit low on stone. Now, I have asked our guys to go out and collect a load of stone, but I think they've probably got it all by now. Oh, no, they haven't. There's still stone up here. We've only got five labourers, though, so it's, um, it's kind of asking a lot of them. Let's crank the builders down to three. And, um, yeah, we'll kind of let them get on with that. Still a lot of stone and iron and stuff to collect. We've got plenty of iron. Logs is great. Logs is up to like 600 now. That's great news. And we're producing... Oh, I was going to say this is glass, but isn't this, this is stored materials. Uh, now, glass is something that we're going to have to get going. Right, this guy down here, he needs to be cranked up. So he needs to go up to two, and this needs to go up to six. The problem is that brings us down to like four labourers. Now, we're up to almost 5,000 food, so I'm thinking maybe we steal, uh, I don't know, like, you know what, let's steal four gatherers, and we'll see how we get on with the food. But that at least gives us like eight labourers for now, so hopefully they'll start to bring, uh, bring some more stone in, which would be kind of nice. Alrighty then, uh, what's going on here? Schoolhouse, 13 students. What, what's that house icon doing there? Oh, is it, is it somebody who's homeless? Don't know, don't know. Let's go and check out the town hall and have a look at the overview and see. We've got 23 homes, we've got 34 families. So we are way, way short on homes. Ooh, that's not good. Let's get some homes being built, shall we? So, let's have some houses. I think we can afford to put in... Uh, now, we're going to need a couple more houses up here, for sure. Like, for certain. So, let's pop in a couple of houses. Um, now, I was, putting them, I was putting them around that way, wasn't I? I think I'm going to leave a double space there. And the same for this one. So uh, let's make sure. Yep, yeah, that's right. Double space. So we've got two more houses going in there. And then we need some houses for like the beekeepers and all of these guys. So I think we'll put some houses in down here. So how about. Now, again, I could start using um, stone and going for stone houses. But I think we'll stay as we are for now. And we'll kind of like upgrade the houses as we go along so let's put a house there and then we'll put a house there so that's two more houses good 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 um we've got one two we've got a third house for the fishermen haven't we yeah we have we've only got one house down here but we've only got one guy working there okay We've got quite a few people working around here, though, so can we squeeze some houses in here? Yeah, we can. We can. I... Uh, oh, we can't there. Well, that's annoying. Because it, it's just... It's just encroaching on... on the market. Now, okay, well, what I could do is I could take out, uh, where's remove resources, I want remove roads. We could take out this road down here. Um, uh, let's take out that road, like that. Okay. Now, I, I probably didn't want to remove that one in actual fact because I'm probably going to end up putting a road down through here. Like that. Okay. 
Come on, guys. Get this done. Now, can I get rid of that? Can I undo that one? Um, how would I do that? It's a good question. Uh, if, I use, no, if I use that. Uh, no, no, too late. Never mind. <clears throat> so I don't know how you. I don't know how you actually undo that. I have to find that out one day. Right. Let's uh, let's put that road in across there. Right. Houses. Let's get back to what I was actually trying to do. So what we want to do is put some houses in, which we can put in down here. So I'll put one there, and then one there, and then... Oh, we can just squeeze three houses in. Ooh, it's a bit of a cramp, but it fits, and it works, and I like it. Good, good, good. All right, they're starting to get this stuff done. How are we doing with the old brickworks? Now, what are you complaining about that you don't have enough of? Are you saying you don't have enough clay or something? Yeah. Not producing enough clay. Now, we've got these two guys producing clay. We've got this guy producing... Oh, he's digging sand. We want reeds. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking that... You know what? I'm going to switch him to clay... Now, hang on a second. He wasn't producing reeds. He was producing sand. So, how the hell are we getting reeds? Where are we getting reeds from? What's producing reeds? Because we've got reeds. Let's look at our inventory. And... Reeds. Okay, we're down to zero. But we've been producing... Um, survival coats, haven't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, we did produce them. So we did have some reeds. Well, I guess maybe it was just stuff that we kind of like, collected that was lying around. I'm guessing that's the case. So we need to put in uh, somebody to actually do that. Right, let's switch the tailor back to producing uh, using leather for a while. Because we must have some leather. And we'll put in Shorehouse. So let's go to Resources, Shorehouse, and... Oh, let's... Now, will you kind of fit in here? Oh, you won't quite fit there. Oh, you'd fit there, though. Okay, well, let's put you there. And do we put a second one? Oh, you'll go much further out. You'll go there. Well, let's put you there, then. Right, so let's have um, two more shore houses. And we'll have one doing reeds, and we'll have one doing uh, sand, I think. That sounds like a plan. Now, we've got these two houses getting built. So we're going to have enough housing for these people. So that's good. But I'm, I'm seriously thinking about putting a tailor over here. Like, it's like somewhere over here. Because we're producing the feathers fairly locally. So it would kind of make sense to have a tailor, like, fairly local. To be actually taking advantage of them. We've got the reeds over here. Um, I could put in I mean I could put in a shore house probably over here as well uh, ah, you know what I might I might just do that I might just do that I might have the reeds being produced over here then so we could have a shore house there and probably another one there Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, we can't quite squeeze it in. Uh, it'll go It'll go there, though. I think we'll just have the one. I think we'll just have the one. This is going to be... Then these, these two are going to be producing sand. This one's going to be producing the reeds. I think. And then we'll put... Uh, well, we've got the tailor over there. I think we're going to end up with two tailors, though. One producing from uh, leather and one producing from hides. We are up to nine labourers, but we did steal four gatherers. We're holding steady around the 4,000 mark, so... Yeah, we might want to crank up. Now we've got up to that. I think we'll crank up another two gatherers. Boom, boom. 
I want to keep this like ticking upwards if we possibly can. Right. Um, what's our food situation? What what we what have, what's our limit on food? Five thousand. We we're, we're almost up to that. You know what? Let's crank that up to fifty thousand because I never want that to be limited really. Okay. Cool. Uh, those houses are going in there. That's good. What are we up to now in terms of families and houses? So with those, we'd be up to 30. We're up to 33 families. So yeah, we still need a few more homes. We still need a few more homes. Right, we need another woodcutter. Let's uh, put an extra woodcutter in and we'll start cranking out a bit more firewood because we don't have a huge amount. So how about we put in like some houses? for these guys now I'm, I'm still kind of not quite sure what I'm going to do with this round here I'm pretty sure this stockpile is going to get moved and you know what let's do it because the, yeah th there's no way that stockpile staying there that's just kind of silly there so let's get rid of that now uh, I'm kind of looking at the the town square and thinking should I should I put another road inside the current one because this is all too wide at the moment but I think for the town square it might be nice if it was three yeah I'm, I'm thinking that might be a good idea They'll do a little bit of road work so um, so this is gonna be down there and that down there and that down there and that across there all right cool now brick Let's extend this brick road. Oh, come on. Uh, let's extend this brick road down to there. Cool. Alrighty. So then. So this is this is three wide around the town square, and then it's two there. So yeah, I think we maybe get rid of this road and then replan this area. I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. So we'll do that. Let's get rid of let's get rid of this road. Like that. Okay. Now we want this road to be three wide, don't we? Yes we do, Sky. So we'll put in road going up there, like that. Now I'm not quite sure. What I'm going to do about this um, this conveyor belt up here, I think we'll probably, we'll, I mean we'll probably end up moving this forest node at some point. We'll uh, we'll kind of see. Yeah, we'll we'll kind of see what happens with that. I'm, I'm really not sure at the moment. Okay, right. Uh, what next then? Okay, well, well these two shore houses have got built, so we can allocate. I think. For now, we'll just allocate one, two, let's put three people in because we're building three shore houses. Um, and it's just going to be one in here digging sand, one in here digging sand. And then this guy is going to be producing reeds. Cool. So we'll get some reeds going. I, You know what? I think we'll bump this up to ten and put two guys in here. I think that probably makes sense. So we get the old reeds going. Excellent. All right. Where's, come on. Where's the, where's the second guy? Come on. Turn up. Show up for work, you slacker. They've done absolutely nothing. And they've been going for like five... Well, they must have been going for a good 15 seconds now. They've done nothing. <laughs> he's, he's starting to produce some stuff. All right. The second guy's turned up now. You can actually get to produce some reeds. God, slacking shoreman. Right. How are we doing? How are we doing? Now we've got this great big freaking mountain right behind us. It extends a long way though. Um, I don't know. I I'm thinking that that, I don't know. I don't know whether that's going to get flattened or not. It might end up getting flattened. We're going to have to see about that. We're going to have to see. I do like the fact that we've got this in now. We need a Chandler. Let's assign a Chandler in there. We'll start using some of that beeswax. Which would be no bad thing. And it would be no bad thing to have like multiple Chandlers. But we, we don't have enough people at the moment. So we're kind of waiting on people to get born and 
become students. We've got 14 students. We're going to need another school soon. Oh, God. We're really cranking out the people. But I think we're a relatively, like, relatively efficient society. I might crank the tools up a little bit, you know. I think I'm going to crank the tools up to 200. We'll crank the clothes up to 200. And health, that should go up to, like, 500 probably that's a good plan uh, fuel will crank up a little bit we'll go up to say 1500 now and everything else uh, materials dry goods luxuries yeah everything else can kind of say the same I think I might crank um, logs and stone and iron up to like 3000 just to make sure that we keep stuff coming in. There we go. Cool. All right. Logs is still growing. I'm very pleased about that. Stone, still a bit of an issue. And we're going to need to get some stone mining going on at some point. I, now, I do want to do a whole thing with the new uh, buildings that are in, like, the, the Docklands. Now, where's the... Oh, this is the themed set. Now, what's this? Docks and buildings for your water. Now, this is the stuff. Homes and town services. Make sure you have dock platforms connected to at least one white strip of wood at the entrance to each building. <laughs> this is the really cool new stuff. This is the stuff that you can just build like houses, like on the water. You can have a whole kind of docks thing going on. I love this idea. Now, you've got a dock shanty. Place to live for a family with of up to four people. A uh, dock home. What's this? A dock small market. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, have I... Oh, I've put a blooming... <laughs> I've put a blooming house in there somehow I really really need to stop to stop go away stop doing that stop building that love the way they're, they're they're able to walk on the water though to build this stuff that's very cool let's go back let's go back so yeah I think oh now we've got a whole fort and palisade with like oh there's, there's so much cool stuff we're gonna get into some of this we are seriously gonna get into some of this right now let's have a look uh, wall key to dock connector. Ooh, I like, the, I like the sound of this. Wall key to dock connector. So, yeah, I'm thinking, like, presumably you have, like, a dock going along, right? And then you put this, like, out, out sticking out. And then you start the dock thing. I mean, that's what it sounds like, doesn't it? Uh, what have we got? Wood dock. One by one, low piece. And then we've got wooden dock stair piece. So, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, so you can, you can have the steps going up to the docks. Oh, like, how freaking cool is this? Like, seriously. Oh, man. Oh, we've got to do this. Now, the question is, though, it's all very well and good having the, the homes and stuff, but... Have we got other stuff? Yes, there is. Uh, dock small storage. Dock large storage. Fuel storage. Wood storage. Uh, rice wines. A uh, rice wine still. Ooh, okay. Dock workshop. A water scavenger. A water scavenger harvests oysters, mussels, crayfish, and seaweed. Oh, I like that. Dock fishery. See, this is what you want, because you can put this, like, right out. In, like in the middle of the water that's gonna produce insane amounts of food like right like, rather like the one that we've got going on there but we've got this massive lake to take advantage of I mean I wonder if we have like the docks thing maybe coming out here or maybe out here oh I'm seriously liking this idea um, I think these shoremen are ultimately gonna have to get moved though now, I know that this um, this particular episode has involved me kind of just looking at things and talking about things rather than doing things. But I kind of wanted to give the 
the town a little bit of time to, to, to grow up because um, we didn't have many, many labourers. We've now got up to 10 labourers again. So I think in the next episode, we can kind of take things to the next level. Now, please tell me, like, what would you like me to do? Because I do want your tips. Uh, I'm, I seriously am thinking that we, we should do the docks thing, like, pretty much first. And I'm thinking maybe we even have like a dock town in the middle here with connections like going off to the to the four sides or something. And maybe it's like really extensive and goes like so, so you could have like collection of houses in the middle here and then extend it up through here and then have another little town in the middle here and then, you know, connecting off over here. I mean, you could make a really cool thing. Should we do that? I think that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so, getting so excited about this now. I will catch you for the next episode. Peace out.